Talk Show. It's the Daily Talk Show episode 487. What's happening, guys? The shop is open. Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of energy. I had a juice this morning, which included ginger, carrot, orange juice, and maybe... Right. I was going to bring it up. I sh- Mr. 97 should have, should have said it. Less food chat, yeah? Less food chat? Really? That's all 100%. I've got? 100%. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, well, I've got something for us. So episode 500, creeping close. Mm-hmm. Uh, 29th of this month, we've got our live show that's happening. Um, shout out to Kathleen, who's put her hand up to be on the door. Mate, the Gronk Squad, you outsource to the Gronk Squad, they that's get perfect. shit done. Can we give Kathleen one of those numbers? As if she's that's a, a security guard. Yeah. She's not a security guard. Okay. She's, she's sorting out who's coming, who's mm-hmm. not allowed in because they don't have a ticket. Could we give her a security uniform? Uh, maybe it's illegal. I wonder if it's... You couldn't um, do the no, number No, there was a thing. guy walking around the city... Oh, this was in Melbourne, a guy walking around the CBD mm-hmm. dressed in a security out, outfit, a gun on his leg, oh. so like a, in a holster, because some security guards can have licenses to carry guns. Mm-hmm. He did not have a license. He was masquerading as a security detail. Look it up, Mr. 97. What was his on. deal? How long ago was this? Um, uh, within the last couple of years. And so he got caught for it and then he did it again. And um, and then was meant to do all this community service. So and if you get caught, if you if you get caught with a gun, depends surely on what that's you, like depends SWAT on what you're team doing. Sort of stuff. But depends on what you're doing with it. Really, you think if you just, I think if you've got a gun anywhere in Melbourne when and we, you're in the city, mm. that's like SWAT team like getting shot down. No, he had it in his pocket. He looks like a security guard. It makes sense. You could be an armored vehicle security guard. He's or, got a gun. If it's a fake gun, I guess. No, it's it, a a re- it was a real gun. I so he had a real gun any on word his on leg. This Can you find it? Yeah, he was sentenced to an aggregate jail term of twelve months. Yeah, but he didn't serve the jail term. What is aggregate jail? He was. It was given like from what I read, he was lucky to have not been jailed, mm. and he was meant to do all this community service, and he didn't rock up. You got to be sort of. Uh, no, he have, no he 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 was bailed. What is this all this? Mean? Yeah, so bailed, you get so Yeah, and then he pleaded guilty to 160 charges. 160 <laughs> charges. Well, they start laying them on you for absolutely everything. I mean, it's all those penalty units, isn't it? No, yeah, it's just getting the penalty <laughs> units in. But I don't know if he actually served time. Like he you be, you get sentenced and the sentence can be mm-hmm. 12 months. We don't I don't think they do suspended sentences here in Victoria okay. anymore. Anyway, yeah, so I think it would be fun some level of security. I mean, you could just have a, the daily talk show um, jumper on with the security gives you some authority. Yeah, I would like some form of maybe it's a, a hat that says security on it. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Is mate. If you wanna, yeah, if you want to organise it, because I tell you what, I've organised for myself. Okay, what do you mean for yourself? Uh, well, We're a team. I think this one, this one specifically requires your input, Mister Ninety Seven, your personal input. So I've booked myself in. I'm going to the doctor tomorrow morning. Mm-hmm. I've got a 9 a.m. appointment and I'm getting a referral to go to have my blood tested. Okay. So this is for the – I hate doctors. <laughs> I know. You've got some weird aversion. Which is I actually – so I tried to call a local doctor here, which is on the website, bulk billing between 9 and 4. Mm-hmm, I called and I said, so it's bulk billing. He said, look, unless you've got a concession card – or some kind of bloody thing, something else. Uh, it's bulk billed full, fully. Otherwise, if you have a Medicare card, it's eighty dollars charged with a thirty dollar rebate from Medicare. Okay. So you got to pay for it. So yeah, I'm it's trying to work. fifty bucks. Yeah. yeah. So, but I'm going to the free one tomorrow. It's just a super clinic. I feel like fully if bulk bills. I, I'm a creature of habit. So is it unre? Reasonable for me to drive to Berwick and go to the super clinic. Unless there. Uh, Mr. Ninety Seven, you can book him in on hot dock right now. It's in St Kilda. Uh, no, 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 in Berwick. Is it a oh, night time? Do they have night time? Yeah. Oh, so it's, yeah, probably open to like eleven. Mm-hmm. Do so, they bulk bill at eleven or whatever? They bulk no bill idea. all day. All Those day, super okay. clinics, fuck yeah. Super clinics, the big, they're like night. Yeah, yeah. So, but he's been there before. You never paid a cent, right? No, but that was 10 years ago. Okay, so mum might have Maybe paid. Maybe yeah. No, no, no. What were you going to say? A child, I don't know, under 18, student yeah, well, or something like that. You get, yeah. I e- wonder either way, um, I've done it and I'm doing it and I'm following it through. It, so we have to do it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. if you don't do it, it's fucked. And so <laughs> what absolute So what gross. markers? Because I was thinking like 
I'm very curious based on my new vegetarian diet, how this is going to fuck with all the markers. Like, am I just going to be like, have no plaque in my fucking, I want them Mate, to do the spinny thing. Unhealthy my... diet and unhealthy diet. You've just transitioned from one to another. I mean, there's uh, nothing, there's, uh, there's no real difference. Hyperbolic. Very hyperbolic. But, but you're talking like the other one was more unhealthy than this one. Mm. <laughs> that, what did you have for lunch? Yeah, pizza. <laughs> but the thing is, it was a it was margarita. A, it was a margarita pizza. Yeah, yeah. Gem, Gem's going to be wearing a uh, hat of sorts on the night. So oh, amazing, a crown. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. Well, Gem, would you get your um, blood test done as well? <laughs> there is testosterone. Yeah, women have. Yeah, yeah. But, small, uh, small amounts. But the point being, you need to go and get your shit sorted. Um, mm-hmm. Which will you're letting down the team massively, and so then I guess we can go all together to get the actual blood done. Well, I think you can do that. Yeah, we could rock up because they're not appointment based. Mm-hmm. You just rock up if it opens at nine, you, you get them done. Well, do you remember the first time you guys ever got an injection? Yeah, as a kid? I remember. I, it was um, the you know the main hall where you had assembly as a kid. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. at schools, they had a main hall. Mm-hmm. This was Elsterwick Primary School. And I remember back in the day they used to line everyone up and you'd walk up, pull your pant down. Foom. What? Really? Like just, so, it, no, just like it, it's just in the top of your, yeah, yeah. like it, top of your cheek. So you're not seeing butt. Never had that. Or it was arm. There was butt and arm. But I anyway, arm. it was like uh, the school when they were doing the vac- vaccinations mm-hmm. or um, tetanus injection. It was bulk build. <laughs> no, it was bulk. I wonder how it worked. They just had someone come same, out. And same just, fucking needle. <laughs> <laughs> so the my old my where I lived in St Kilda, next door neighbour, he was a, a pom, mm-hmm. grew up in England, and his dad was over from England. You know, rich accent, and was telling me. What does that mean? Like a rich English accent. Like he was wealthy. Thick. Okay. Rich, rich, like full, full English. He had an accent. Sure. A strong accent. Yeah. Yeah, a rich accent. Is it a strong accent different to a rich accent or no? Well, it's just rich in its strength. Okay. So I didn't know you were doing poetry. <laughs> Sorry. Go on. Anyway, he um, was telling me that when he was a kid, because we were talking about Bodhi, my son getting an injection, mm-hmm. and how, I don't know, we're just talking about, I think I, he just got one, and so we're just chatting, and he's like, oh, yeah, back in my day, they used to inject the kid, take it out, clean it, Light it, put it under the flame, yeah, yeah, and then do the next kit. Well, Same needle, eighteen hundred style sort of shit. Mate, I don't yeah, know what they're doing. Back, and back so in. I'm uh, definitely not an anti-vaxxer, no, but I'm an anti-adminer. So it's been a <laughs> long time. It feels like since I've had any of those mm. injections. It's so simple. You rock up. You've mm-hmm. got your piece of paper, which has been so given to you by blood, your GP, is, yeah. mm-hmm. and they say it has on it what you need the tests for. It has, which they then just go, well, you need this. Are you one, going to say it's for vial. a podcast? No, I'm just saying that I want to get my testosterone tested. Yeah, sure. Amongst don't a, don't leave with the fact that we're comparing it. No, you know, no three D deal event. would have. Yeah, he would have. I, I want mean, I want to test the levels of te- my level of testosterone. Yeah, Gemma's down to do it. She said, "Absolutely, wouldn't it be funny if I had the most testosterone?" <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. But I think, um, uh, yeah, the and then we can do it as across the podcast landscape. <laughs> Oh, yeah, all guests. Does Jordan yeah. Michael ladies have more <laughs> testosterone than us? Oh, yeah, we could do the whole podcast community. <laughs> just, just get everyone. Yeah. Emily Emily says, wait, you're still eating unhealthy. What's the point, Josh? <laughs> well, what, what does our unhealthy mean? A pizza for lunch. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> all, and it not being Friday. Slices. So, Emily, what does... No. Yeah. I whispered in Mr. 97's ear earlier, which I thought may, might have made you feel a bit uncomfortable. I'm guessing, can I guess what you said? What did I say? I thought you were, he was saying, ask him for a slice, but you probably said, don't ask him for a slice. <laughs> You're on the money, but I did say, if he doesn't offer a slice to us, he's a fucking idiot. What? <laughs> no, well, I knew that uh, Tommy is the 100% leecher. He will uh, bag you out about your pizza, who do all that sort of thing. But I didn't bag will... you out about the pizza, have I? Did I? Uh, no, I mean, you're whispering in Mr. <laughs> no, <laughs> that I wanted a slice. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I said if he doesn't offer yeah, well, me one. Well, the thing is that you have lunch every day. I don't think you offer me lunch every day. And so well, all of I've a sudden. Made, I've made why, a, a bowl of I almost tuna told them not to cut it up in slices <laughs> for this very can reason. Say, can you request that? I could say no. Cut it. Like, so then it's like, sorry, man, no slices, knife and fork. You can't have any. Because I knew, yeah, as soon as it's this slicing, for some reason... We see the 
pizza as some form of fucking communal food. It's not. I would have one. Kind of is. It is. Pro- you don't go no. to if you're if you doing go to Italy. If you're doing a communal food offering, you don't do tuna and rice. If you're in Italy, you probably do something more like pizza. It's Very actually, easy to share. It's actually rude in Italy to share pizzas. Look that up, Mister Ninety Seven. Have is it that. rude to share pizzas in Italy? If um, it is, what are you going to do for me? We didn't share pizza, so it's all good. No, but you think that you are meant to share pizzas. No, I was just m- making a little joke okay. with Mr. 97. Anyway. So I need commitment from you boys that you will. Get the blood work done. Yes, I will. And it has to be done this week. Mm-hmm. You have to have the tests sent off before Friday yeah. based on the time frame okay. of next week. If, yeah. like, if you do it next week, we're fucked. Uh-huh. And um, yeah, I think it'll be fine. Are you okay with needles and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I think I am. Like, but when I was a kid, the first, very first time I remember getting a needle. Uh, don't share a pizza. Don't share a pizza. Even kids have one to themselves. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We're not in fucking Italy. <laughs> that was his excuse. We said, you said to him, why are you eating pizza at lunch? And he said, I did it in Italy. And I said, I mate, you're not fucking in Italy. You're in I've Melbourne. I've got a lenti paddle, pad, lenti? Lenti. lentil patty for you. And how do we don't have a barbecue? <laughs> no, it's cooked already. Pre-cooked. It's called food prep. Yeah, anyway, but, anyway, no, but the, the needle thing. So but I think the thing is that maybe, maybe that's part, like thinking about your perfect day. We wait until we go on holidays to do that stuff. <laughs> Why, if that if that is going to move <laughs> yeah, the needle to create carbicide? Yeah, if that's like a what is, what's carbicide? Yeah, if it's you going on holidays. It's called carbicide. What is carbicide? Actually, it's like it's a homicide by carbs. Yes, carbicide. Okay. Or like um, <laughs> genocide by carbs. Like, like you just ruin. Really, like you go so hard on carbs. You you. You're committing carbicide. <laughs> oh, no, it's suicide by carbs. That's what oh, it yeah, is, yeah. Okay. Um, no, but when I was a kid and I got uh, my injection, it was out of school time because I was sick on the day mm. and uh, I went to the doctor and it hurt so much, but I was going in before my friend Kyle and so I uh, laughed. I just, instead of crying, I was like, ah, this is so funny. The way. doctor thought it was funny. Everyone was laughing like, this guy is fucking tweaked. Yeah, like, ah. So were you crying? Yeah, it was like like eyes all watering. Yeah. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> when B- Bodhi once got one and it, um, and it bent the needle. <gasps> so in his little backside, he's got a little rock hard. So you were oh, watching it. That's I, right. I wasn't there for that one, the poor little kid. And then he... um. And then he did get it and, and was red for weeks. Oh, red 3D deal weeks. joined. So okay, 3D, 3D deal. deal. Uh, anyone else saying a few little words? Uh, one, two, three, Demir gave us a thumbs up. Great. Thank hey, you. Thanks, Demir. Thanks, Demir, for the, for the thumbs up. Uh, any other plans in regards to the uh, EP500? Yeah, a few things that I can't mention. We've That's got a funny. Surprise I've got a, are you surprising anything for me? That's what I'm planning. So am I. Great. <laughs> That's what you want. I don't want to know everything. I've got a surprise. Mr. 97, what, what I'm going to be surprised is if Mr. 97 survives his emceeing duties. <laughs> yeah, so Gemma has agreed to do emceeing with you. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to wear? What would you, if you didn't have any say? Sorry, if you... Um, if, I did, if I had a say. <laughs> if you had a say. And Which you, you were just... But also if it wasn't for content, if you just had to wear something, what would you wear? Um... Probably black jeans, um, white shoes, and just a t-shirt. Okay, the just new white shoes, blue. the yeah, new yeah, Lacoste. New, yeah, yeah, new white shoes. Could you wear a collar? <laughs> what do you mean? Like a collared shirt? Yeah, I don't oh, know. Yeah, sorry, yeah. is that what you're saying? Yeah, a collared shirt, not a collar. <laughs> like, are you, are, you, are you meaning like a shirt shirt or a polo? I don't, um, have, I don't have a polo, and I don't actually have a shirt. Yeah, I wasn't thinking yeah. polo, but you give Didn't me you ideas. Did you wear a shirt out when we went to... Um... Yeah, I don't fit in that anymore. What do you, you mean, too big? <laughs> Look out for this kid's testosterone. Oh, what actually <laughs> happens when you try and wear it? Uh, it's just like, uh, it's a bit too tight. Uh-huh. Where? Across the chest. Uh, it looks good. <laughs> so that means that he's built chest. Like, that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, what are you going to wear for the day? For the night, uh, sorry? Not sure yet, actually. No, absolutely no idea. Part of me wanted to go some form of Halloween thing. For you? Yeah. Mm. Based on it being Halloween. What date is Halloween? Is it the 29th or 30th? If you don't like admin of a, um, of a blood test. 31st. Having to, 31st. Having to go, I mean, one's a bit more fun. Mm-hmm. 
but having to go to a costume store, interact with costume people, try on costumes. Yeah. Do you think you're good at admin? Uh, I think I'm better than you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a low uh, bar. Yeah, yeah. It I depends. called Vic Rhodes yesterday. I, that's if, I mean, that's hard. That's, it was. That's hard. I mean, I've done, I did my tax last night. That's good. Got a good return. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Not that's bad. Exciting. Um, didn't make any deductions. And I still got shit loads Any, of money at all, other than just the most basic things. Mm-hmm. But because we run everything through the business, yeah, well, that's what I've tried to do: remove anything that's personal. Mm-hmm. Having to do personal, and I, don't, I haven't bought computers and shit yeah. with my own. We don't have company cars. Yeah, and so, um, but uh, that's a piece of shit. Like that admin there, yeah, yeah. my gov <laughs> unlinking. Oh, yeah, yeah, but if yeah, you're yeah. just accepting the fact that you're not uh, doing any, um, like declaring, or what is it called? Um, not putting any expenses down. Yeah. Any deductions. Well, it's not hard. It's not hard. Love a bit of tax talk. We employ ourselves. Do you really? <laughs> you <laughs> find it boring. I mean, the thing <laughs> is. I mean, Dill, Dill just messaged, classy look 97, forget a college shirt, and uh, Gemma wants to go get a pre-event spray tan. So oh, yeah. yeah. Would you get a spray tan? <laughs> yeah. Depends how full on it was. I think it would look great. Actually, you still have that Bondi Sands voucher, <laughs> yeah. don't you? Do you? I got, I've, Hang I, on. I've got a bottle of Bondi Sands. Who, you've got it for my you bought you that? Jason bought it for my 18th birthday. As a joke or? Yeah, yeah, yeah as a joke. Okay. Oh, well, actually, he said you have to apply it, but I haven't done it yet. Have you ever used fake tan yourself? No, no, no. no. Have you, Josh, no, ever no, used no, fake no, tan? Never, never. One of us has then. <laughs> yeah, okay. I mean, I didn't even have to ask. If you've been a stripper, you've used, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've used fake tan. I've had a spray on. Mm. I used... The lotion mm-hmm. sort of brings out a light tan slowly. Um, Washes off. Though. It's so quick. Anyway, yeah, no, not still good. not into it. Uh, outside of EP five hundred, it's only like two week, two weeks and a day or something until we go away, isn't it? Two weeks and a day till Mister ninety seven's birthday. Mm-hmm. Is that right? Uh, something like that. Uh, LA. What, what's in your mind, ninety seven, about LA? What are you actually excited about? I was, uh, I mean, we probably won't go see it, but there's like a, um, there's a, there are sick like art buildings. Have we, you seen them? They're we, like up, up on, the, up on the hills. No. They're like on, the, anyway, they, they look sick, but I'm more, I'm more excited for, um, like the Venice beach area and Santa Monica Pier. Where mm-hmm. we'll be spending the least amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> what are these art buildings? Oh, uh, they just came up when I was looking at facts. They're uh-huh. like literally like $2 billion buildings. Mm-hmm. That really? Built. Yeah. Yeah. They got like massive trusts and people who like invest in them, philanthropy stuff. Have your parents given you any tips about the US? Are they giving you any rules? No. Nothing at no, all? Nothing, nothing. Well, this is good. <laughs> are, he's, you, are, he's there any rules, are there any rules that we need to set, do you think, in regards to, obviously we had the office rules. They all went out the window. <laughs> I think the, the time that the toilet seat fucked up, all of the rules went out. Um, and then we're just trying to survive at that point, which your dad came in. TJ yeah, and my fix dad saves the day. Timbo <laughs> saved the day with the toilet seat. But if we were to create some rules around the trip, what do we think is – what's some good rules? Well, I think it's if the way you could identify the rule or I, I don't even know if they're rules. You could call them rules. Let's go with Mr. 97, his habits or rituals or things that he does daily when he's at home – because I know that he's got his routine pretty dialed in. Smoothie. So Are you what have is to have a smoothie? A, a, a rule is uh, exercise and working out. Yes, I think I think doing it to Tommy's uh, every second day. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll, that's I'll be carrying that. So load, far, right? f- well, uh, what do you mean? I'm doing it with you. It's just if I'm Josh doing it. Yeah, okay, great. Fuck you guys. Well, so it'll be Mason and I doing it, and then I'll you do can it. join us. Okay. Well, no, maybe. you just get a good a good system of getting up. We get up at or, or maybe six I'll thirty a.m. You can do what you want. Mason mm. and I will train. Um, <laughs> you can do what you want, but we'll get up at a certain time. Mm-hmm. Go do it, and then get coffee. Mm-hmm. So we'll just create that routine. Anything else that that you desperately want to bring? Bring with me, as or, in just uh, like the habit. The fucking. Um, I mean, healthy eating would be a great one to keep keep going. Just not blow yeah. out on pizzas and stuff. There'll be burgers. There will be. Um, Pancakes, there will be healthy options from Whole Foods. <laughs> yeah, it's got it all. That's what the perfect. beauty of it. I mean, the thing is, when I go to the US, uh, barbecue, so like American barbecue, mm. burgers, all that sort of thing, is my go-to. So it is going to be interesting being vego and just having like the uh, Chipotle bowls. They're good though. I think, They're yeah, lovely. That, that is that what Diavella has? 
Yeah, did you, you, yeah I'm sure he yeah, does. Yeah, no, he did make a video talking about that. Yeah, I think the I Chipotle, remember that. Chipotle is great, though. We mm. didn't smash that many burgers other than In-N-Out. Yeah, I mean, diners in general. I think the other rule potentially, uh, I reckon we need to dial in coffee because I don't know if you remember when we went to mm. um, Studio City. <laughs> Before we interviewed Greg Berent. Yeah, and Amira. And uh, I had a bunch of, it was like a cold brew coffee. Yeah. Or like yeah. black the, coffee in a cup. Well, it was the, the caffeine content in the black coffee, the filtered coffee. Mm-hmm. Depending on, on how you go, yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, so you were charging, so I was, sweating. I was like jitt- jittering and not feeling good. The problem is when you're not, not feeling amazing and you're tired, you back it up with coffee and should another we, coffee. Which should is we not, not right have way. coffee? Oh, I'm going to have coffee. But it could be one a day. Like mm-hmm. one a day if you, if you can't function Well, this after is the problem that. with diners and stuff because they keep refilling True. those fucking things. Before the Seth Godin interview, uh-huh. we were sitting in a diner and it was a classic, like think picture an American diner. Mm-hmm. This was it. Just, oh, um, that's right. Cindy had been working there for like she was great. 20 years or something, <laughs> like ridiculous. And she lived in um, Honkers, yeah. the town Yonkers? next. Yonkers? Yonkers. Yonkers. <laughs> Yonkers. <laughs> yeah, Yonkers. No, Yonkers. My, Yonkers. She lived in Yonkers. And I just remember I, I had my hand there and she's like, so you married, are you? Like, I don't know. She's looking at my, my wedding ring. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know what to take from that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's just stuck with you. No, I'm not. <laughs> at the diner. I know a guy went in a strip club once. He took off his wedding ring as we walked in. It's pretty gross. The biggest isn't thing it? I took from that was don't assume that fucking any of these girls yeah, want yeah. you, mate. Yeah. You absolute Plus, pig. They love <laughs> married men. <laughs> <laughs> I yes. wasn't married then. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not I ideal, was is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 a bit gross. But, Jen, um, Jen yeah. said, done, Mr. Nine Seven, you'll love getting a tan, trust me. And she's getting one in an hour, so don't worry. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Um, any any other thoughts on LA before oh, we go? So, and the no coffee thing. So what do uh-huh. you want to bring from home? Oh, as in like habits. Like I if, think sleep will be a good one as well. Yeah, definitely. Mate, we don't sleep when we go to the States. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I think the eight hour, the thing is um, I think early morning walks, mm-hmm. very important. Or exercise. You can do whatever you yeah, like. Yeah, I, I mean I prefer like being able to like really take in like Get a sense of space. So walk a fair bit, do it around the block and stuff. Uh, the thing, it's great in New York. Mm. LA is LA just it's mind. huge though. Yeah, but Like you walk down one street for so long mm. and you haven't really seen a shitload. Mm. It's, it isn't, isn't one of those places. Yeah, it's not a hugely walkable place. Because it's, it's so flat mm. and most of it around Hollywood and stuff. I mean, it is nice. Yeah. Would you roll a blade, Josh? No. no, no, no. <laughs> Someone said that. No. 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 You I just, came up with that. Yeah. yeah. Stupid. <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't roll. Why a blade. did you come up with that? What, what uh, were uh, you visioning? Venice Beach, just Josh, oh, just rollerblading. Yeah. Hot pants. Yeah. Loves getting an awareness of the space around him. But he needs blade. awareness of his own center of gravity, which I don't think he quite <laughs> yeah, has. No, Would you? No. Could you roll a blade? I mean, are you going to do the? Um, the bird or whatever it's called. Oh yeah, yeah. Getting on. Oh, the lime scooters. Yeah. We could all get. Would you ride one of those? So I don't know. There's a girl. Is it just a scooter? Scooter. <laughs> scooter. So, scooter. So there's O bikes, which were the disastrous bike sharing business that came to Melbourne, mm. and then I made that O bike fishing video. They then released different companies scooters, electric ones, which I was blown away with it when we went to America. Mm-hmm. They're everywhere, and everyone's fucking riding them. And it's fun. They're electric. You don't have to do much. We saw a guy with a like a newborn baby, like the ones that own this. They're newborn because they fit in the sling at the front, mm-hmm. so they're tiny, a couple of months old. And then his wife on the back of it. Dangerous. I mean, stupid. Yes. Yeah, what stupid. about the, uh, the girl? Uh, I think a YouTuber or Instagram. If you type in London, uh, oh, she died. She died. Is it, I mean, people have died on bikes. It's people have died on skateboards. People have died walking. People die Most from people everything. Die people die from it all. People die from drinking coffee. The point being, you might not be able to handle yourself. Well, no, I just think that like, is it ne- like the the speed and danger? Yeah, but is it worth? If the, that's uh, on your mind, you're not the type of person that should be on one. Yeah, and so the Have people you ever fallen off your electric Escape, yeah. skateboard. Yeah, not not badly though, as in. Not as bad as it could be. Like I've, I was on the way to a shoot with Nando's and I rode through the city and it was a bit slippery and I went through Fitzroy Gardens and it got to this point and 
I slid. The thing with fucking hipster ripped pants, mm. you actually no rash your knee. Like if my jeans weren't hipster mm. and holes in them, I wouldn't have bled like I did. <laughs> it just would have been like freak, you know, like a little bit of a yeah, yeah. bruise. Amy fell over the other week, actually quite a while ago. Skateboarding. Rip- no, no, no. Just walking to the bus stop. Rips in her jeans. Fucking rashed her knees so bad because of the hipster holes. Mm. Hipster holes are good for nobody. Yeah, no, but I think <laughs> that if, be, I like even them. look at Casey Neistat uh, cr- smashed up his collarbone. Collar yeah, that he did that not from the booster board. It was uh, the one wheel. The one wheel. There's diff- literally- yeah, that, that was the one wheel in the desert. He was on, he was at, I mean, this is the thing. But if you the, play the, the game, you're up for breaking so your I'm arm. I'm saying I've, I'm not playing the game. Exactly. But that doesn't mean that I'm a pussy. It just I means I don't. That. I didn't say that. Yeah, yes. Like some people do that. it and some people don't. Maybe you're not like wired or whatever the fuck you said. I never. Did, what did I say? I mean, I didn't hear that to be honest. No, I didn't, I didn't say, say that. I didn't say any of that. I just said, said like, oh. if you're not. If you're not. If you think about this is too fucking dangerous, you're not the guy that should be on them. Yeah, that's what we've come to agree. And so, <laughs> Mister Ninety Seven and I will be on our birds. Do you think Ninety Seven? Uh, do you think you'd be okay on one? Do you have to go on the main road or can you, you, go you just go you on the footpath? Whatever you want. Whatever you want. On the footpath. I mean, they won't go that fast, right? They'll just go like 30k an hour max. Yeah, a bit less, I think. Yeah. Maybe in America. They're going to only go about 10 or 15k. Yeah. yeah. And so you're, you're fine. You I mean, uh, okay. yeah, I'll, I'll slap on a helmet and I'll be sweet. Is it the th- What's the, the fastest you've gone before? On a scooter? On anything, yeah. Yeah, not that fast. And so but where's this confidence, confidence, confidence come- yeah. Well, it's a, I mean, how bad can it be? It's a scooter. How bad can it be? I don't know. You clicked a button on a surfer, brought the whole <laughs> thing down. How, how bad could it be is the no. worst motto if we've learned anything this way. But no. But if you you've emailed you us, uh, we may not have gotten back to you because of our email server. That's okay. It's, it's working. It's, it's all good. It's working uh, No, but you, it's not going to, you don't have to go fast. Just go mm-hmm. 10 kilometers an hour. Mm. Sure. It's the same as, I mean, it's literally the same, just go the same speed as a push scooter would with your foot. I guess part of it is. I think there's more people dying from car crashes than there is from skateboarding instances. I just wonder though that when you get on a scooter, because mm. I've only, I've ridden a motorbike once, a Wee 50, and uh, it was great fun. And I flipped the, flipped the whole thing. Oh. Uh, <laughs> going down a hill, my brother jumped in front of me because he wanted to turn. And I put my brakes on and just fucking went horizontal and then like flipped. Mm-mm. Anyway, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's as easy as I just go slow. <laughs> Scooter Derek joined the chat. G'day, Scooter yeah. Derek. Well, let me sign into my electric account, and he's just signed into Castaway Studios now. Oh, and great. he says, "What's the pink button that says send a request to join?" I'm always tempted, but no idea what happens. So if you press yeah. that button on Instagram, Derek, uh, you'll then come up like a face. FaceTime video. That's if they accept you. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. so like I, I went up to Cardi B's live feed and it was like send a request. How many people are asking Cardi B? <laughs> no, you'd have a lot of Millions. requests. Millions. Yeah, if there's yeah. 100,000, there's probably 20,000 that have mm. asked to be Did on. you press the button? Yeah, I did. And what happened? Nothing happens. It's just pens. It's just pending. Yeah. So there's so we, many coming we, through. We get a notification, but you don't have to. Have mm. we had anyone request to get on, jump uh, on? We had one just before. Who from? I think it was Aaron. Accept it. Accept the nah, because re- then we can't actually hear. I think Aaron did it yesterday potentially as well. Oh, okay. oh it doesn't push through into No, it. no, no, because we've That'd got be cool. the, it Oh, yeah, been. no, yeah, because we won't actually hear what they're saying. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jem's also clarified in the chat for Derek as well, so thanks, Jem. Uh, LA tip of the day. Fact of the fact day. Of the day. Fact, fact of the day for tips. LA. Uh, so th- this is this is an interesting one. Uh, have you heard of the La Brea Tar pits? La Brea, yes. La Brea? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. La Brea um, tar pits. It's like it, it reminds me of like Insano Man, like the um, dinosaurs getting caught in the tar, yeah. shit like that. Anyway, yeah, I know La Brea, but what, what is La Brea the, is the street, yeah, right? And what's the tar pits? Yeah, so they're, they're literally, I think it's um, oil coming out from, I don't know, the earth somewhere and they create uh. tar pits and it saves like a bunch of, preserves a bunch of fossils in there. Mm. So there are over three and a half million fossils, including saber-toothed cats, giant sloths, mm. and a mammoth that was named Zed. Um, it's the only area that's actively excavated Ice Age fossils found in an urban location in the world. But in 2013, an LAPD police officer 
emerged from the tar pits with a piece of evidence from a 2011 murder, becoming the first person to submerge themselves in the tar pit. He said his hands were literally getting stuck to his body and the tar itself. He was losing finger dexterity and the ability to actually move, and he felt lightheaded as he emerged from the tar pit and had to be treated by paramedics because toxic methane gas had seeped into his mask. His final warning to LA criminals was, there's nowhere they can hide something that we can't recover. Oh, that's cool. That's that's I'm great. slightly confused. What are you confused was about? Was he official? Was he uh, doing LAPD? Yeah, so he was, a, he was an LAPD uh, officer, but he had diving experience. Okay. So he dived into I just the- I just imagine some LAPD <laughs> dude just sort of like off the clock being like, I'm fucking going Yeah, I did. There. I did. Well, was, to I be honest, whole, it was a better story for my own yeah. head. <laughs> but no, it would have been like a proper- like there would have been people around there watching him and stuff. No, yeah, 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 yeah. But you can't, like, I mean, he's got a full you can't mask on. It's like, yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. YouTube it later. I want to see if it's, there's a video. It sounds sick. We should go to the tar pits. Mm. Yeah. And so you can see the tar pit. Like, is there like fossils actually? The bit, fossils? They're in. they're in. No, no, they, they take, yeah. So, so they can take them out of the tar pit. And so fossilization is the process of, you have a bone or something and then it's removed and then there's a fossil left? No, no, no. What's a fossil? A fossil is the skeleton. Define fossil, please. It's a watch. You might just let you find the watch. Bit. Did it? <laughs> fossil watches. <laughs> the remains or impression of a prehistoric plant or animal okay. embedded in rock and preserved in petrified form. Mm-hmm. Mm. So do you get what that means? So I think that fossil you could have... You could have a rock that has the imprint of some skeletons, but it's not the actual skeleton, but it's a fossil. Could be a footprint, mm-hmm. fossilized footprint. Yeah, I think so. It's preserved the shape or something. Yeah. I know what you're saying. It's like, is there actually bones of a dinosaur? Or is mm-hmm. there bones of a big sloth? Yeah, or is it the fossils of it? Anyway. Yeah. No, there are actual bones of them. They have them in the museum there. Okay. So yeah. they pulled them out. But they, so it's a but whole setup. They've got a museum and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is it to get in? Let's be honest. I think it's 15 bucks. Okay. <laughs> US. Yeah. Plus That's, probably a tip or something. Yeah. Yeah. 40 is 35. 60 buck day. Okay. Anyway, before we go, any, anyone <laughs> on uh, Instagram? Grace says, good joke, TJ. I'm Which trying one? to figure out. I mean, I'll take it. To her. <laughs> I'll take it. I think there was no good jokes. Oh, the fossil one, maybe. Oh, yeah, the watch. Great. Yeah. Blinky yeah. Bill's got an LA fact of the day for us. 20,000 people have died in 2019 in electric scooter-related deaths. In LA? I don't know if it's... Maybe That's, potentially I LA. I mean, 20,000 people a year is a lot of people for just LA. Can you look that up? Sure. Can. I don't think... I think that's from fact. <laughs> that's a fucking... Absolute nightmare if yeah, that's 20,000 yeah. people yeah, yeah, yeah. within this f- 10 million of yeah, LA. Blinky Bill is definitely, yeah, yeah. Around yeah, the world. Troll. Oh, yeah, that's it. No, that's outrageous. Yeah, There's, no, Blinky there, made it There up. have been 11 deaths since the beginning of 2018, and that was at June in June 2019. Okay. Mm. Right. Cool. How, right. many, how many car accidents? Oh, nine, nine occurred on rented vehicles. Of course. Oh, yeah. So you got good odds, Josh. What? Good, good odds, odds to of, not, die. Of not dying. Good odds Why? to not die. Because only nine people have died on rented. But 11, there's 11 deaths and nine of them died on rentals. Yeah, that means yeah, only but two the, that didn't. The, no, no, but out of however many yeah, people. Yeah, there's not ro- 10 people who rode. There was there's, 11 no, that died. No, no. Does he not, not understand how <laughs> statistics work? <laughs> no, you're Mason's saying, trying to work out the chance of you actually dying is quite on a rented low vehicle. based on how But you said there was 11 in total? Yeah, 11 deaths. So that means two people. Out of how many? Two million that have ridden yeah, the scooter yeah, yeah, or two, whatever. Two people, yes. Died who actually own their scooter and then nine who rent it. Yeah, died. and we're going to rent it. He still doesn't get it though. How <laughs> no, many people? I get that so, most of the, You're looking at the positive. Yeah, the yeah. other side of it is most people who die from scooter-related are accidents from rentals. are from rentals, which is what we're doing. So that's not good. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah you're, sti- you're more still- likely to be in a car crash. Why? Definitely. We're you know there are more cars than citizens in LA. And we're going to be Ubering Mate, around one everywhere. one fact a day. Watch yourself. <laughs> I, I would trust, find the trust in yourself to ride the scooter over the trust you give to your Uber driver. Think about that. We had an Uber driver last time in LA. Mm-hmm. She, she, the thing about Ubers over there is no one rides in the front seat. And Australians really? go to get in the front seat. I never get in the front sing- seat. Yeah, no. yeah, I don't get in the front seat either. But when you've got three of us 
and there's we got bags and shit. We want to put bags in the middle of the two back seats, three back seats, one in the middle. Someone has to get in the front and Mr. Nice Evan. Unfortunately, it's going to be you this time. <laughs> Whereas Bree and Josh were together. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I mean. You're a front seat driver, like a front seat guy. So I, I don't think mind, but it's just weird because they always have to pull the seat back because they're not equipped to take yeah, yeah. the front seat. And I got in the front seat and I've seen people on drugs after the fact, like hung around with people where they get a bit edgy and like you can see just some stuff they do with their hands. Ticks and shit. People on like. That have taken meth. Is this while they're driving? Is what you're talking Just about? people who have taken drugs or after a meth, big yes. night. And she... Driving I think, you in the Uber. She, the girl who we was don't driving know if it was Uber, us, maybe it was Lyft. It was Uber. She had her ear, <laughs> I was ear trying piece to on. The bus. I was trying I mean, to I, save not, some sort of Uber deal. But it's <laughs> not Uber. It's just this gronk that was willing to do that. Mm. And so she had an earpiece ear on. She was on the phone and she's driving and she had sunnies on, big long thing. nails. And she was doing this thing with her hand where she was just like... And it's moving a jaw, oh. and they're like kind of ticks of when you have meth or well, maybe she was just um, maybe she was also just unwell. Definitely not, dude. She was f- on drugs, on drugs, one hundred percent. And we got there safe. I mean, this is but the guy I, who is so confident about everything. One hundred percent. You don't know one hundred percent. You could literally 90%. have the exact same ticks. Could it, could you? Or could you not have the exact same tics? Yeah, but you're trying to make me out like I'm calling out someone. Did you think she was on drugs? I didn't know. I, I, it wasn't until we got out of the car you said, oh, she was on drugs. I was like, oh, really? But did you notice what she was doing? No, I, I noticed like the nails and stuff. Yeah, she like was doing nails. shit. Mr. 97 definitely would have sniffed it out. But I think 100% she's a little bit strong. Yeah, I'm being hyperbolic. <laughs> 80%. Just like you with nine people dying on scooters, you're thinking the end of the world, mate. My point with the nine scooters was 97 said 11 people died. Oh, only nine on rented scooters, so you're good. Mate, only 11 people died, <laughs> nine of them. Mm. That's 89% of some shit. I don't know. Mm. It's a high number, high percentage. Don't drive in a car then. You don't want to know those statistics. No, but the thing is that the driving in the car, I'm actually good at driving a car. It's not the point of it. <laughs> Well, you're you're not about. driving the car though, the, are you? No, but I'm, in driving in general, the other people on the road is the problem. Yeah. If you're the good driver, it doesn't matter if you're the good driver. Okay. All right. So I, I'm going to go on a scooter then. I'll do it in LA. I'm happy with I'm that. I'm going to, all right. Everyone. This bloke was crossing the street on an electric scooter in downtown LA when a car struck him at 50 miles an hour and flung him 15 feet in the air before he smacked his head on the pavement and fell unconscious. How is he now? Uh, two bones broken, snapped two bones in each leg, broke a thigh bone, shattered a kneecap, punctured a lung, fractured three vertebrae in his neck. He's not doing well. And now and he's living off a paycheck. And a head injury. That's not good. I don't know if it seems worth it. Anyway, it's a daily talk show. Uh, hi at the daily talk show.com. Apple podcasts. Uh, we really do appreciate when you leave reviews. We got a review. Like this one. Lucy, after discovering this podcast a couple of weeks ago, I absolutely... I have absolutely ripped through the back catalogue. Thank you guys for creating such a witty, engaging show. You make every day a little funnier. Thank you, Lucy. Mm. Anyway. If uh, I, I, just one last thing on those scooters. If more people rode scooters, there'd be less pollution based on the car. If every person, if there's more cars than people in LA, people need to fucking get rid of their cars. Or you could walk. Yeah, all that too. Um, anyone else on Instagram before we go? No service. Uh, Grace says it's in relation to the uh, fossil joke. Okay. So. Thanks, Grace. Uh, thank you, Grace. Uh, leave us an Apple podcast review. We do appreciate it. Feel free to email us. Hi at thedailytalkshow.com. The emails are working, which is good. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. See you, guys.